happy Saturday. Um, going into work, which is fine. It's like, I don't know what else I would do with my Saturday. Well, I know a lot of what I would do with my Saturday. I'd probably surf, run, get a workout in, etc. Um, but yeah, I went out with a fr friend, co-worker last night. I hate alcohol. I'm like finally at this point where I just, I don't even enjoy it. I literally, there's so much I'd rather be doing with my time. I don't even like bars. I don't even like the bar. <laughs> like, it's so funny. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, and that's fine. Like, I, some things just are not for everybody. Um, yeah. I mean, like, sure, a glass of wine every now and then is fun, fine, but I don't know. I'm just, it's not fun for me anymore. And not only that, I mean, it just is so dumb. It just takes away from life, the enjoyment. I mean, it just takes away from your health. Like, that's the biggest thing for me. But it's also just not fun for me personally. I don't like the feeling of being drunk. I don't even like the taste of being drunk. So, yeah. Um, Got to get my car cleaned this weekend and go for a long run. That's ideally what I'd like to do. Tonight, I might run after work and... Um, Definitely got a sauna, so going to do that too. Uh, yeah, cool stuff. Okay, so basically work today was something aligning with myself and helping others. And basically I'll show you what we learned today. The benefits of certain foods and specifically brain foods, which is super, super important for uh, these people specifically for so many reasons. But we also have some healthy snacks to go with it. And also got a workout in. So it's just really great way to start their mornings. We got a 30 minute workout in, did some reading, healthy snack and nutrition, which will actually help them with the symptoms they're dealing with. Um, it's really important for people with dementia and Alzheimer's to be eating foods that will benefit their brain health um, and help their brain function in general. Good morning. It is Sunday, which means that it's a longer run day. Woohoo! Super stoked. Um, yeah. It'll be good. And the sun is shining. And I don't know if it's going to stay that way, but I can hope and pray. Let me check the weather. All right, I am laced up, got the compression socks on, and yeah, beautiful day. Okay, so I just finished about 4.5 miles and um, honestly there were some, I think some like high school level runners behind me. I heard them talking and it sounded like me when I was a runner on high school and they're just, they're, you're just on a different level when you're running in high school. You aren't practicing with your music and you're getting paced every day consistently by 
girls that are faster than you. Um, and that's my goal. Like, it was so fun. I haven't been pushed like that. Like, I heard them behind me and I'm like, no, not today. And I was like, I needed some little, like, my pace right now is super chill, relaxed. And I, honestly, you're not getting building muscle if you're not pushing yourself. It's just the plain truth of the matter. And you're not getting better if you're not like going through some sort of pain. And so I, having them honestly pace behind me, pushed me past the limit. And maybe it was only for like, what, 0.3 miles, 0.2 miles, but it was so worth it. I need a running group, competitive running group. I, they should have that like competitive running groups outside of structured school. I'm gonna look into it. Um, Cause yeah, I just, I like having a pace, a fast pace. And it actually, I feel it's what my body needs. My body doesn't need a super slow, fucking heavy pace. Like it needs a quick, fast pace. So yeah, excuse my language, but also St. Patty's Day run today. So they blocked the streets off. So honestly, it is kind of a lucky day for me. Like the streets were clear and it was like super nice to run on. Um, and then, yeah, I'm thinking and I'm like, my track coaches in high school were super fast and could literally run and pace us girls. So that is, and she was, they were in their like 30s, 40s. So that is extremely um, admirable to me and just goals. So yeah, goals, these are my goals. It's kind of, yeah, that's that. jumps big jumps what are you eating what are you eating grass so getting your greens in all the flowers are in bloom All right, finished a long run and going to finish my nutrition course. And there's so much to learn about nutrition. I think it's honestly endless what you can learn. And you know, you can always help people. That's the truth. You can always share. I mean, even just sharing like the basics with people was like, it can be life changing, so. Yeah, it's just important, but life is so funny. It's just so funny. Okay, what do we have here? My gosh, okay, so I'm, <laughs> it's a little early for dinner, but trying something new. Um, might jump in the water, might not, we'll see. I'm working on my nutrition course right now, so I got really hungry and I haven't eaten all day. Um, honestly, the cinematic, it just, it's not going, but basically this is, I've never tried this before so good 
um let's see it's made with cauliflower puree i mean obviously it's like there's carbs in there but so good rice flour i mean it's gluten free but it tastes really good and you just heat it up on the stove um super quickly it heats up which is great it gets crisp and then i bought some um shrimp last night and sliced that up for some protein in there and see how this focuses there we go well it's not the best but um here we go and then just some fresh romaine lettuce for the salad sunflower seeds blueberries are in there tomatoes and lemon sprinkled all over I don't know it's a treat st patrick's treat i guess lots of green um so excited to eat this it looks so good it tastes so good and it is very healthy for you i also added some parsley in there um parsley is really great for your body it's an herb that we don't eat a lot and so it's kind of the spicier um, herbs like parsley or arugula are really great for your body and just adding quickly to your meals. So I just sprinkled some on the nochi, shrimp nochi and um, salad. And if I were to have done this, um, maybe like a little more gluttonously, I would have made like a cream sauce to soak the shrimp in and then kind of made it like added a little more cheese and lemon made like a lemony creamy um no cheese shrimp kind of pasta but honestly i prefer health over that and i it still tastes amazing so really not missing out on much there you have it super excited i'm gonna eat this while i um read about nutrition the quality of this camera just it doesn't work with me you know it's like you want you want your things to work with you it just doesn't so I'm gonna have to look into a new phone but yeah i have no words it is so good it's perfectly like the crispy gnocchi, garlicky gnocchi, the lemony shrimp, the slight chew. I mean, it's, it's truly amazing. And I uh, don't say that a lot. So, and then with the salad, I mean, great balance. So, yeah, give it a shot. Gnocchi is great. For, it's an alternative for pastas, obviously, but... They did a good job. I was going to go for another run, but I'm just going to stay in and read. It's a book I've been really wanting to read. It's already really good. And yeah. Should have ran. Should have, could have, would have. And uh, yeah. Try again tomorrow.